You want to think uh, on a basic kata, you want to think about <coughs> your, your punch as, a, as a, an elastic type of move. Okay, so you want to get as much elasticity, as much drawback on that bow as possible. Okay, here's the bow handle over here, and here's the arrow, right? That's what you want to, that's how we, as Indians figured this out, okay? using the bow, okay? But so when you come back here then with that punch, there's an elasticity move and stretch and a natural recoil. Okay, just do that to yourself there. Get that recoil. Let it kick off on the go. Okay, let it go forward. You know what that's called? That's called coefficiency, right? That's a recoil, that's energy going one way and being drawn into the other way. So if I took if I took a tennis ball and I dropped it on the floor here. Whatever amount of distance to come back up on its own is called coefficient wheels. There's a bounce that changes and distorts and then it starts coming up. If I drive it down hard, there's going to be more coefficient. It's going to, it's going to distort a lot more. Energy is going to expand it and then it's going to boom, come back up and again try to <clears throat> come back into its natural shape. That's the same concept when you're doing these punches. Okay? If there's no distortion of the body or of the tennis ball, there's no energy change, okay? No coefficient. So don't when you're doing this speed, don't worry about that. Let that have, let that come back and it way stretch. It's not right here. Somebody took a picture of somebody doing a Sanchin arm thrust one day and said, "That's where it is." And so from then on, ever it went. That's where it is, and everybody would argue about whether the thumb was in the finger was straight. Hey, it never stops. This is the most compromising part of the thrust. Why you would argue about it back there? <laughs> You know, I, I wanted to get through there as fast as possible. So when I do that punch then, I'm going to bring that back all the way and whip. All the way and whip so that I'm getting coefficient on the movement as I'm moving on that punch. Okay, so what I want you to demonstrate to me then when you do those first three moves which we're going to practice by themselves first, is the length of stretch and drive you're going to have on that punch. Okay? Just show me that position. You do three punches, break it over, elbows in. The first move is a reflective move. You're concentrating on drawing the punch back and excelling it, excelling it out. Ayo! Yes! Stay there. There's three punches I'm looking for. <laughs> Ayo! Whip, nice. Hiya! Full stroke. Yes. Nice. Full stroke deal on every one. That's a piston movement. That's a locomotive movement. Okay? It goes through the mechanics. It's an engineering type of move that must happen. Okay? Let's try it again. Make sure your body movement is going with the strike so you can put the centripetal force in the move. Hiya! Hit! Hiya! Now you're going to be coming forward as you hit. Hiya! Yes. Oh, man. One more time. Hey. All the way back. Remember, drive that elbow back, full stroke, Dio. Hiya! Full stroke. Now, full stroke, advancing to the front. Tack! Oh, that's it. Man, what a difference. Try that one more time. Makes you don't want to get hit with one of those. That's right. <clears throat> Coefficiency. Everything that goes within the strike. Your body is to whip handle, your hand is to whip. Snap! That's it. Hi-yo! Hi-yo! Really? Excellent. Yeah. Really? Excellent. <clears throat> wow. It's your man. Lots of power. See, the, the, the thing about this, what, what we're doing, the concept is that there's absolutely no restriction to you. The concept is to be as fast as you can possibly be when you're given the command to perform. I'm trying to get your mass motor skills up so that they'll operate under extreme stress and they will do extreme movements under extreme stress. Okay? That's what I want to happen to you. So if you're in a situation of fight or flight, preferably you, if you choose to fight, that everything that you do will be mechanical and mass muscle memory. Because you're not going to have fine motor skills, fine motor skills pretty hard to do, looking for pressure points, looking for this and that, when somebody's trying to kick your butt. 
Okay. But if you pull the pin off the grenade, you know, <laughs> everything, everybody's going to be running, going to be disappearing. And then a couple of times that I, I've been in a jam, and you just turn that off a little bit for a second there. <laughs> when, you, when you experience full control and full power of what you can do, then your confidence level comes up. Okay? Because you can go and grab that whip off the old fence and crack it every time now. Bang! Bang! That's, that's what it's all about. You, I'm not regulating you to the move. Step. Thrust. Turn. Step. Thrust. Turn. I mean, after 20 years, that starts driving me crazy, man. You know, <laughs> you know, let me go, let me go. No, no, no. Turn. <laughs> Thrust. Double, Jimmy, double, double. Okay, you ready? Double now. So you've always got somebody controlling you, and, and what I need for uh, them experimenting with is that's fine in beginner stages and what have you, but every now and then you need to have a taste. Okay? You have a taste of your whole energy flying and your whole personification, everything about you just coming out of who you are, the example of who you are coming out into your kata. Okay? That way if you're a, an athlete, you get fast twitch muscles, you've got everything going, we're not reserving you down and just pull down, jump down there, huh, huh, hold your breath. Now move fast! <laughs> <laughs> now fight! <laughs> guys, you see, man, I can't do karate. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Okay, let's try that whole kata. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give the numbers because of the size. Uh, and then we'll do one, split the group up. We'll do one each, okay? One half of class and the other half of class. But for now, we'll all do one by the numbers. Paint karate by the numbers. Paint by the numbers. Kishiwa! I'm going to talk a little bit over the top. Knees are bent. Knees are bent more. Full stroke on that punch. X! Nia! Punch! Tilt! Go! Left strike! X! Punch! Tia! Tia! X! Tia! Yeah! <laughs> Last time I said that was at the bar fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, this side here. Move over. That side. Hey guys, come in. I want you guys to move back so you can get off on that elbow strike. You're going to be traveling now. So this is a, you're, you're moving now. Yeah. You're going to need this whole energy here. Okay, the full stroke. Go ahead. Hey! Hold the top. Knees bent. X! D! Get down. Drop the body weight. Come on, drop! Hey! Whip! They are. Throw them away. Whip! Hold! Hold! Drop! Ah, right on. Right on. Are you getting married? Steve's got to go. He's got to go to a wedding within an hour. He's actually officiating there. <laughs> okay, ready? Shoot up. Knees bent more. Over the top. Keep that posture. And hey! Very 
Hi. Hi, Don. Now I can fight again. <laughs> Excellent. When you're doing the uh, thrusting, you know, when people say the other guys have power, I have power. Look at that. <laughs> this is my pressure point power, what you guys say. Come along and just wave his hand. Okay, so here, as I come back, I want to really make sure, get, let that go. So I just throw that, ooh, look at the length on the thrust, okay? What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Did this do a sign of coming up with some stuff? Okay. Hold it up here. Now, what I want, now stretch. That's what I'm looking for on that thrust. Migrating toward the center. Okay, and slowly, slowly. Right here, now stretch. Okay, see that? So when you're doing your thrust, then you're trying to get as much snap on that move. possible, much reach on that movement, <laughs> on the thrust, okay, so you, boom, a big movement, okay, let's try it, right on in, just extend your left arm out here, come toward the center, now, reach, 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 extend, extend, back, Again, thrust it out there. Reach, 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 reach. Back. Don't let your shoulder come over. Shoulder still stays down, but you extend. You gear it up. Reach. Back again. Out now. Reach, 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 reach. That's it. Yeah. Again, back again. Extend. Reach, reach. Good. Step. Right arm, extend, reach, 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 back, extend, reach, 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 wheel, back again, extend, and go. reach, 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 again, extend, and rest. Now let's try it. Very important that that thrust. Is migrating towards the center. Okay, on the on the strike. So make sure that is working. So you're <coughs> say name once again, Liam. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so when this thrust is coming out, there's a invisible triangular shape that's taking place, and the forward foot is sort of filling that in coming on that angle. See that? And the forward puts on an angle. So if we were looking at him from the top down, we would actually see a point in the isosceles triangle, okay? Coming out there. So if he extends both arms and double thrusting, if they were long enough, they would be touching right about here. So they're migrating toward the center, not here. So if the arm is here, watch this. So I move it over two inches. See the difference in power here? Wow. So the difference between a broken board or someone's broken jaw is here as opposed to here. Okay? So it makes that's why that punch is going forward and center. So the energy. In the movement then, so you have another triangle here concept. Okay. Here. Here. And then when the knee comes up on the kick, okay, body's over, kick out, 
like so, we have another triangle concept coming into the body. From here, down, like so. And bang, bang. Okay? You understand? If this is back, what happens to the triangle concept? It's not there anymore. Okay? So this is going to be like that. That's why I want you to forward. The other center that we're thinking about is coming in here, in the center. So we're going this way, and we're going this way on an imaginary point, focus point here in the center. That's what you're centering all the time. Okay. The minute that happens, this is not centering. This is happening centering. Okay, so I'll get you to do science and Patrick for me. Just, uh, Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Live Dandy.